Hey, Happy New Year and welcome back to Yo-Yo Talk. We have a lot on the platter this evening. We will be announcing who our three automatic finalists in the Hall of Fame pool of nominees are. And we will also list all the 26 current nominees for the 2021 Hall of Fame. Seven more of these will be picked by the executive committee to enter the finalist pool. We will see who won last month's quiz on the YouTube channel, and we will uh, have another fight night to determine the live winner of last month's quiz as there was a tie. Dano the Mano will take on the Simcoe in what will likely be a bloody duel to the death or at least some embarrassing moments. And as an added bonus, we have Dano the Mano in the studio. The Simcoe will join us uh, online a, a little bit later. Uh, we were going to have Sean Perez as a judge tonight, but he backed out at the last minute because of work. I think Sean needs to get his priorities in order. Uh, this is unfortunate, as both of our contestants will attest that I, Doc Lucky, personally, am not immune to bribes. As a matter of fact, I encourage them to the point of almost being qualified to become a politician. Fortunately for the world, I am missing the one skill, the most important qualification to be a politician. And no, it is not common sense. It is the ability to repeatedly win popularity contests. Yes, we are being governed by those folks that won Mr. and Mrs. Popularity in high school, not the presidents of the science or math clubs. God help us all, but I digress. We will, of course, talk about some recent yo-yo finds, plus the pop quiz near the show's end for a chance to win more great collectible prizes. But first, I found this as I was reviewing some old paper memorabilia that I had. This is an old ad for Medalist yo-yos. Medalist yo-yos were made by the Strombeck Manufacturing Company. And the reason that is important is that Strombeck bought all the lathes from the Duncan plant after it went bankrupt in 1965. And for a brief period of time produced yo-yos, uh, the Trickmaster and the Cadet being the most common. The Trickmaster was a full-size tournament yo-yo and the Cadet was kind of a beginner's model. I don't remember if it had a peg string or not. That company did not survive and you kind of wonder why. And then I found this was their ad. Can you play that? There you go. The year of the yo-yo. Of course, you can buy the most esteemed Trickmaster or the much favored cadet. And there was the Minisan. As we humbly suggest you return the pie car today. Ah, so. <laughs> Sounds like a Charlie Chan wrote that uh, ad. Definitely not politically correct in this day and age. I believe they were a company that was canceled long before cancellations were the thing. I also happened to notice as I was reading the ad that the words non-toxic solid colors, what does this mean? Well, back in the day, everybody used lead paint, including on toys, and it wasn't banned in the United States until 1978. So I got to thinking, well, maybe I should check some yo-yos that were made before 1978 and see if they actually were toxic. So I'm going to do a, a test on a Trickmaster that I have here. And uh, of course, that was one of the Strombeck yo-yos. And they said it was non-toxic. And then I thought, well, I'd go on and try it on an old Duncan yo-yo as well. So as a control, I did a little experiment to show how a positive lead test works. This is me testing for lead on a very old coffee grinder that was in my family store back around 1903. So this is a lead tester. You crack it open and this is going to test for like lead paint. Okay, shake it a few times. There we go. So there's the normal color yellow right there. Focus in on that. That's the yellow color. Now I'm gonna rub it on the
Oh, bright red, lead. Red is lead. I have lead paint and I was correct. You could see the, the bright red there on the uh, testing uh, cylinder. And uh, that's what lets you know that there is lead in that paint. And it makes me wonder about all those cups of coffee made out of coffee beans and a bit of lead paint. Perhaps this explains why great uncle Ernest, who was an avid coffee drinker at the store, began to think he was a boar pig and later in life would be found sleeping in the pig pen with a bunch of his favorite sows. Okay, let's check out this trick master and see if it really is non-toxic. So I have uh, one of these lead paint testers here. I'm gonna crack the thing open and we'll shake it. And then the yellow, uh, the yellow end is just the, the indicator solution that's in the, um, and you can see it's just showing through there. So then you take this and rub it on the trick master and I'm rubbing it there. And you gotta rub it for about 15 to 20, 30 seconds to give it a good test. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the yellow almost dripping off there. And when I did the, um, that coffee grinder, it turned red immediately. So this is definitely non-toxic. So now let's try it on the Dunkin' Yo-Yo. This is a super, uh, this was made in around 1955-ish. And so we'll see if Duncan had safe non. And here we go again. We're using the same one because it didn't turn positive with the trick master. And this one is clearly doing the same thing. You can see the yellow solution there. It's not turning at all. So even the Duncans were uh, non-toxic. So that is let me wipe that stuff off there. I don't want to damage the yo-yos. Um, so they were telling the truth. No lead paint in the Trick Master, so maybe it was their culturally insensitive ads that put them under. And uh, so anyway, we checked out, like I said, the, the Duncan. It was fine too. And uh, I think everybody agreed that there was no bright red. And that is great news because I can go back to chewing on my old yo-yos without having to worry that any fantasies about fine looking Berkshire sows aren't due to lead poisoning. I am going to stop drinking coffee though. Sean, do I need to do any shout outs? Who's, who, who we got famous watching this show right now? Anybody? Uh, we have the typical. We have uh, John Gates, Jay Madigan. Ah, John Gates, Hall of Famer from last year, Jay Madigan. I don't know why Jay's watching. He just wants to see if we show an underwater yo-yo, I mean, an underwater uh, hockey clip, I guess. Who else? Uh, we got uh, Bob Rule. Oh, of course, the famous Bob Rule, another Hall of Famer. Dr. Nickinator. Nickinator, the evil. Uh, well, I thought, I, I thought Nickinator would be uh, tra traveling, but he is on, so boo-hoo for all the people in the trivia contest. And speaking of trivia contest, uh, let's go on and uh, take a look at tonight's prize package. As always, it will be for the winner of the pop quiz at the end of the show. All right, that obviously was not the prize package. Turns out what we've had is a real technical difficulty here. Our um, internet lines got cut. We have some redundant lines, so we were kind of limping along here. But as far as the live show goes, that's the end of it. What you're seeing right now, if you're watching, is you are seeing the recorded version. So we're not going to have the live pop quiz at the end of the show. So there won't be also on the YouTube channel, there won't be the opportunity to put the correct answer is to, to use the uh, randomized YouTube winner uh, to win a prize package too. So we'll do that n uh, next month. We'll use the prize package we had put together and, and some other good stuff. So next month live, we'll be back to that. But what we're going to do is we've continued on with the show. We add Dano here in the studio. So we've gone on with Fight Night. You're going to get to see that. There's going to be some other good stuff. I'm still going to announce who the three folks are that are automatic finalists into the Hall of Fame uh, uh, final pool of 10. And we'll talk about some other fun stuff too. So 
Um, we'll uh, let's uh, just go right now, and we will look and see who the winner was from last week on our YouTube channel contest. As you may recall, last week's quiz, the correct answers to the questions, what does Doc Lucky call this style of souvenir yo-yo, and what name was erased on this yo-yo? The answers were Rainbow and Jack Duncan. Jack, of course, was one of the Duncan brothers. We had a bushel full of entries this week, so you may have to squint to read all the names that were on the spinning wheel of fortune. I am, of course, being facetious, as there were only three entries, and that is pathetic even by government standards. One of them was a Nickinator, so that shouldn't even count. Okay, Sean, let's uh, show us the randomizer clip of the folks that entered the correct answer, all three of them. Of course, the Nickinator wins again. For some reason, the yo-yo gods of luck favor him. Don't let that dissuade everybody else. Uh, go on and next week, uh, please, when you look at the YouTube channel, we will have another contest. Not this week because of all the technical glitches, but we will continue with our YouTube contest. Hopefully we get more of the um, uh, more entries than what we had <laughs> this last week. Uh, the Nickinator wins a periodic table of yo-yos, a Duncan cap, and a keychain. Uh, the Nickinator was in town, uh, what would have been, well, last night, um, and did play underwater hockey with me and Sean. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's Sean with the puck. The Nickinator unsuccessfully tries to backpick Sean, and Sean passes to me for a nice cherry-picking score. So the moral of the story is the Nickinator doesn't win at everything he does. Uh, this was supposed to be a travel day for the Nickinator, but I know he was watching the show, so everybody would have probably lost the uh, trivia contest anyway, so maybe it's good that we, we aren't having that tonight. All right, we need to decide who last month winner was as we had a tie between Simcoe and Dano the Mano. So the Simcoe and the Dano and Mano are going to have a fight night tonight. This means we will be spinning the Wheel of Pain um, to win Dano the Mano or the Simcoe must be victorious in three out of five challenges. First to be victorious in three wins, wins. Challenges were constructed using components that included strength, physical endurance, and high intellectual capacity. But after a careful assessment of our contestants, we decided on stupid yo-yo tricks instead. Okay, let me go over to the Wheel of Pain and we'll get going here. Okay, tonight is fight night. We have Dano the Nano here in the studio. And online we have the Simcoe ready to battle it out for that prize package, which there was a tie on last week. Just to remind folks how we work this, this is the Wheel of Pain. We will spin the wheel. The challenge will come up and these guys are going to have to win three out of five to win. So really the first person to three wins the whole package. So here we got our categories. Only a weenie would try this trick. Enjoyable for those with low IQ. I hope my parents aren't watching. If I lose this one, I will give myself a wedgie and never do this if you plan on dating in the future. And of course, my favorite response here is pay Lucky $100. So we'll be hoping we hit that a lot during the spins. <laughs> and that's just, you, you guys can either divide it up, or I don't care how you do it, if it hits on the $100. You, you can work that out later after the show. Okay, so I guess we're ready for our first spin of the Wheel of Pain. Wait, who's going first though? Well, no, you, you actually are going to be doing this together. This oh. is a challenge. So here we go. Little little change up here. Here we go. Wheel of Pain. I'm gonna spin it around and see what we got. Oh, no hundred dollars. This is going to be. I hope my parents aren't watching, and we will find out what that trick is or stunt or whatever it is that we're going to be doing. And this one is 
longest sleeper to extinction with a wood non-transaxle yo-yo. So find me a wood non-transaxle yo-yo in your pile. Get ready to go. And I will give you the countdown once you guys are ready with it. We'll give you a second there to uh, prepare this. It's one throw to extinction. All right, both of you ready? Both of them on camera. On the count of three, you will throw at the same time. It's to extinction. Do not bring it back up to your hand. Three, two, one, throw. Oh, and wait, he is out already. He is out already. The Simco loses on the throw. throw. How embarrassing is that? That is pretty embarrassing. That is one in Dano the Manos column. We're, we're gonna have to be for what appears to be the underdog here. This is the Simcoe. Okay, let's do this. Wheel of Pain once again is being spun. If I lose this one, I will give myself a wedgie. <laughs> All right. We will see what this trick is going to be. Balancing a roll of toilet paper on your head, who can place the most yo-yos in a sock in 30 seconds? If the toilet paper falls off, you must empty your sock and start over. All right, so uh, be getting your yo-yos that you want to put in your sock ready to go. I'm going to go grab a stopwatch here. Uh, go on and balance the toilet paper on your head. Oh wait, should I, let me bring this thing in a little. Okay, yeah, you can bring that in. And uh, all right, tell me when you guys have got it balanced. If your toilet paper drops, empty your sock and start over again. You've got 30 seconds. And three, two, one, go! Oh, they're doing it. Oh, it up. I don't know. People might actually vote for that, Sean. You got about uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. There they're going. They're stuffing those yo yo's in the sock. It's hard to tell who's winning right now. They're both taking their time. Oh, and stop! Stop right where you're at. Okay, you can take the toilet paper rolls off. Let's count them. Let's show me your yo yo's. Go on. Uh, I will say, he yeah. had one. Let's uh, do, uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do Dano the Manos first. Let me also say, he had one that was three quarters of the way in when you said stop, and he pulled it out. So okay, well, so well. Let him count it, and okay, we'll count this on. top okay, one too. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay so just, here we one, go. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five. You're getting a lot in that little sock. Six, <laughs> seven. Oh my gosh. Eight. I know who I'm going to have packing my Christmas stockings next year. <laughs> you get a lot in there. Okay, let's see how many you got. I don't know. You have the one three quarters of the way in. We were going to count that one. Oh, I took it okay. out. Okay, we got. Okay, one. Okay, let's. Oh, so you're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Dano the Mano oh, right. takes oh, it oh. again. What? Oh, seven. Seven? Oh. <laughs> That's it? And I'm empty. Missed it I'm by empty. one. Missed it by one. Dano the Mano is up now. You got some. We, we need a comeback here, I think. He only needs one more to take this, this fight night. All right, here we go. We're going to spin the Wheel of Pain one more time. All right, only a weenie would try this trick. The pressure is on the Simcoe. All right, holding a tablespoon in your mouth, 
with the egg on your tablespoon. Who can loop the longest without dropping the egg? First to drop the egg or fail, the loop loses. Oh, geez. All right. And I just want to know, everybody to know, since Dano the Mano is in our studio, he will be cleaning up the egg oh, oh, himself geez. if he drops it. All right, so Wait, we need yo-yos. something down get here. Get your best looper out. Get your best looper out. Get that spoon and your egg. All right. Oh, good choice, my friend. <laughs> Good choice. I think that was a home advantage there. Okay. That is a home advantage. All right. All right. But then again, this is about looping. And, and, and let me just say this. The Simcoe on, did not show us great yo-yo skills on that sleeper. That's all I want to say. So I hope it goes a little bit better on this looping. All right. On my go, this is who is going to loop the longest. The longest without missing you can do inside outside loops inside loops outside loops i don't care as long as it's looping or as long as you don't drop the egg okay here we go on the count of three three two one go and they're going the eggs are still in place the eggs still in place we got that big ladle there holding out down of the mano is very <laughs> Oh, oh, almost had it. I heard a hand hit there. Didn't, well, it, it, oh, he's still going. He's still got it going. They still got it both going. Oh, we could be here for a while, folks. Uh-oh, Simcoe looks like he... Oh, Dan of the man oh, loses. <laughs> he loses. But he kept the egg. Thank goodness. That <laughs> yeah. is the one good part of this. Uh, I still get breakfast in the morning. Here. That's right. <laughs> All right, so... The Simcoe is on the comeback. He is on the comeback. We only have two challenges left. Dano the Mano could still take him out with this one. I'm rooting for that $100 thing, but it is just not happening. Oh my gosh. All right, enjoyable for those with low IQ. All right, here we go. Let's see what our, what our next challenge will be. Okay, using your 20 yo-yos. Who can stack the highest amount of yo-yos in 60 seconds? Highest stack wins. Oh, geez. I'll stack them right here. How long we got? You're gonna have 60 seconds to do this. Tell me when you guys are, are ready. Stack them on, like, in our, on our hand or on a table or what? What's that? What, what are we stacking them on? No, you stack Last them on top of each other. Okay, but it can be on the table and stuff? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna do his on the table. Do we have him on, can, can we see him? Yeah, move your table this way a little bit. All right. You got your, okay, you guys got your yo-yos ready to go? You, the highest you can go is 20 because that's how many yo-yos I told you all to bring. If, if you both get to 20 in 60 seconds, it's a tie. Oh, uh, yes, you just have to start over, but once it's 60 seconds, whatever you've got standing at 60 seconds. Yeah, once you once you have uh, your, your uh, Bias stack. You may want to see if the other if the other guy's behind. You may want to pause for a second if you've got a good stack. So at 60 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, go! And they are stacking. They are stacking fools right now. And it kind of depends on what yo-yos they picked. If they picked a lot of butterfly-shaped yo-yos, they're in better shape. If they picked a, picked a lot of. Uh, tournament yo-yos, uh, then that might be a little more difficult to do. Dano's looking at about five, six right now. I can't see how many, uh, how, how many Tim's doing. Oh, Tim has got like, I mean, he's got the Tower of Babylon going there. I think Dano's going to have to pick up the pace a little bit. And we're at uh, 39 seconds now. We're running out of time. 
Simcoe keeps going up. He's up past his cabinets now. Dano starting to get a little bit nervous now. He's starting to adjust. Oh, he's starting over again. Oh, that was a setback for Dano. He's going to have to go fast now. We got about eight seconds left. If Simcoe can hold on to his stack without knocking it over. Oh, and that is it. That is the time. Simcoe has tied it up. So we do go to the last one. Sudden death. This is amazing, folks. You can only be seeing stuff like this at fight night. Here we go. I'm not even going to spin the wheel. Of, well, yeah, I am going to spin the wheel of pain because I might get $100 from these guys. All right, yes, finally, the $100. I will collect that from them both after the show. Uh, I guess I don't have to spin again because it's going to stop right there. Well, you could have doubled down and got two. Yeah, well, that's true. Never do this if you plan on dating in the future. All right. We'll see what that is. This is our final challenge. The winner of this will be the winner of Fight Night. The Simcoe had an amazing comeback. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is going to require two yo-yos. The most two-handed round the world's one throw. You must catch both yo-yos in your hand at completion. If both fail, we will repeat the attempt. So, this is two-handed yo-yos. You can go for as many loops as you want, as many uh, round the worlds as you want, but it has to come back to your hand to count. So, if one guy throws just one and catches it and the other guy doesn't make it, well, I'm gonna win. I have to stand over here in the taller ceilings, though. Oh, okay. So, uh, can we get the camera uh, over there? Tim's ready to go too. Okay, so on my count, we will throw. One, two, three. Both missed, both missed. Okay, so go again. go again. And there was the thing, if one of you guys had just caught it with fewer spins, you would have won. So maybe that will change your strategy on this next throw, we will see. Okay, here we go again. On my count. Three, two, one, throw. No. Uh, no, that came back. D Danos got it back. I said it just had to return to hand. Did I, I wasn't watching uh, Tim. Tim didn't get it back to no. hand? No. What? Yeah, as long as he got it back to his hand. Oh, oh, okay. The, Wait. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it should be a clear back to your hand catch, not not another bounce, not not a not a recovery throw. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Here we go again. Get set. Get set. It's got to return to your hand, like in a trick contest, so where back you, in your hand. Not yeah. you don't not don't just pull them up at the. Well, no, yeah, no. It's got to be a round the world pull back okay. to your hand. Okay. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one, throw. Okay. okay. Dano was good. Oh, Dano officially wins. Dano, come give me the fist. I'll give you the fist bump over there. Good job. Good job. You are official fight night. Thank you guys for playing. Two time. I, I can I can take those hundred dollar bills. Um, and you can send check, PayPal, uh, Vimo. I don't care. Any way you guys want to work out, thanks for playing. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks. Good job, Simco. Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Dano, the Thank man, you, man. for thanks, coming guys. into the studio. <laughs> Glad I don't have to clean egg off the uh, so, Oh, there's the prize package. Okay, back to some more serious stuff. The National Yo-Yo League has come out with their 2022 schedule. Thank God we are back to having yo-yo competitions once again. Nationals is scheduled for June 24th to the 26th in Mesa, Arizona. The regional contests have been scheduled, but only have tentative dates for some of the uh, contests. Southwest regionals, which are going to be tentatively here in Orlando, the date hasn't been decided yet as well as the Northeast Regional. Uh, they are still looking at a date there. So if you want to find out more on the regional contest, which are required seeds for the national championship, 
you can check out the website at www.nyyl.org. Now we have the nominees for the 2021 National Hall of Fame. I'm going to show you the list right now. Uh, the nominations are closed, so if you see someone that's not on the list and you go, dang, they should have been on the list, well, you'll just have to wait till next year and make sure you put them in as a nomination. Almost all of these folks are worthy of the nominations and good luck to them all. Uh, this month, the executive committee will vote and select seven of these nominees to the finalist pool of 10. Next month, I will announce the 10 finalists and members of the Academy of Yo-Yo Arts will vote and select the three 2021 inductees. Now, you're probably wondering who the three automatic finalists are. To be clear, this does not mean that these three will be an inductees. It just means they are automatically placed in that final pool of 10. These were selected by popular vote and the three automatic finalists are Stuart Crump, Paul Escalar and Tommy Reyes. And I have spoken about these folks uh, several times in past episodes. Sadly, all these guys have uh, parted, but they have left very permanent impressions in the yo-yo world. So please feel free to post why you feel any particular nominee is worthy of being selected uh, into the finalist pool right now. You can post your comments on Duck Lucky's Yo-Yo Talk group page or post it on our video channel on YouTube, uh, Doc Lucky's Yo-Yo Talk. Again, I feel all these candidates are worthy and whoever ends up being selected this year, they are certainly deserving. Uh, I firmly believe most all the folks that have been nominated will eventually end up being in the Hall of Fame in the future. I will let you know next month what the results of the executive committee are. Folks on the executive committee will be getting emails from me shortly. Uh, we just finished the Christmas holidays and many of us got some good stuff in our stockings. Please post all of your cool yo-yos that your better halves found for you. Here are some of the things that I scored from Santa this Christmas. And now down to the good stuff. Six flags, 10 yo-yo, seven Ds, all right. Woody Woodpecker yo-yo, unsure of the date on that. Uh, Santa Claus brought these. Oh, here is a presidential seal yo-yo. This is uh, George Bush, White House. Love those presidential yo-yos. Made of the Mist, been there, Niagara Falls. That's cool. Uh, another, looks like a Woody Woodpecker. This is a Chili Willy. Yo-yo, sure what that is. That's a, oh, Woody Woodpecker, another Woody Woodpecker. Enemies. I can't see the date of when that was made. Those look like they're all series. Buzz Buzzard, again, associated with Woody Woodpecker. Oh, and those were the yo-yos for the day. John Bozung was nice enough to share a video of his yo-yo room. Let's take a look at that. Welcome to my yo-yo room. I started playing in the late 50s. None of those yo-yos survived, unfortunately. I started playing again in earnest in the late 90s and uh, started competing on my first contest was in 2001 at Worlds. I used to have five world records, Masters Division. Bill de Bois Blanc got my Eli Hobbs record. That was me. Let's see. There's my Crowd Fusion and Abajero and some other froyos that are from a friend that died. I used to have a skill toy club for. Those are all yo-yo jams. My battle top trophy. Mostly Tom Coons there. Variety of stuff. Grand 
zeros. And of course, my real pride and joy here, my real treasure, my trophy from the 2008 Ultimate Battletop Championship of the Universe. <laughs> Love the periodic table of yo-yos. All the cool folks have one hanging in their yo-yo room. Thanks for sharing, John. One last thing before we go. Uh, I was searching the internet and I happened to come across this image. This is pretty amazing because this has been absolutely dated to the 15th century. This is in a Persian book believed to have been written in 1490. This currently is the first documented image of a person playing a yo-yo. And if you followed my show, I've previously debunked many of the earlier thoughts on art depicting yo-yos in Greece and why the Greek ceramic disc were not yo-yos. And, and please feel free to go back and, and to those episodes and check them out. If you have questions on the early history of the yo-yo, I believe that was episode 17. Anyway, a very, very cool discovery. I've always got my eyes out for earlier and earlier illustrations of uh, individuals with yo-yos. But right now, I believe that's the, the oldest. All right, so uh, just a reminder, um, uh, next week we will be going back with our pop quiz. Uh, we will have our internet uh, quiz as well. You just have to answer the correct answers, which we'll already show on the live show, so it makes it easier, but that'll be just a random draw for those prizes. Next month on Yo-Yo Talk, February the 3rd, we will announce the 10 finalists for the National Yo-Yo Hall of Fame, and voting will begin by the members of the Academy of Yo-Yo Arts. If you will feel you are worthy of being a member of the Academy of Yo-Yo Arts, you need to have been participating in our sport or hobby for at least five years. And then you must have done something worthy to contribute to the sport during that time. If you are not sure whether you have done anything worthy, then you probably haven't. We do screen folks that are interested in becoming members of the Academy of Yo-Yo Arts, but please go on in and, and sign up if you feel you are somebody that should be voting for these uh, Hall of Famers. Hopefully we will have some updates on some of the regional yo-yo contests next month and I'll let you know the times and places of those. Don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel and always remember this, you can never have too many yo-yos. This is Doc Lucky signing off. See you next month on February the 3rd and thanks for watching.